What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Chris behind camera today. What we're doing right now, we're in Pennsylvania and we are overlooking this old uh, logging road. Fire road, whatever you want to call it. But there's some down trees as you guys can see on there. So what we're doing today is, turkey season is actually two weekends away from now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna clear this fire road out completely. Uh, we're gonna get most of the leaves out of the way and we're gonna disc, disc this up with the Groundhog Max. It's gonna disturb a lot of that dirt and the turkeys are gonna be in here, attract. Uh, they're gonna be attracted to that. And they're coming here and bug and, and you know scratch and all that good stuff. And then we're also gonna set up a spy point in here somewhere, whether it's down the other end or, or this end here, just to kind of get the videos of the turkeys coming in here. They should come up here and strut and all that other stuff, but that's an easy way to attract turkeys to a specific area is really literally just manipulate the dirt a little bit. So we're going to go through here to get this done and then uh, we'll see how it goes, see how the rest of the day goes. But it's going to be like 82 degrees today, 78, 82. Yesterday was very warm as well, so it's a good weekend to get a lot of stuff done. And I hope you guys follow along. that little deadfall cutting some of these uh, branches off there it's opened up a lot through there now what we have to do is you can see how the trees are kind of lean in together we're going to open that up a little bit on the edge and then clear this uh, deadfall off right there so as we clear that off then we'll have a better understanding understanding of what's going on I want to take you on a tour. Let's walk this uh, fire road. You can see all this stuff was falling over. A lot of this, was, we still got a few more to cut. But as you can see, it's opened up a lot. And for everybody that always says you can't do a food plot, this, that, and the other, me and Chris just did this in literally probably an hour. And you walk this way around this bend, you can see. You guys can see straight down there that's a good hundred yards this is gonna be a hundred yards this way and it kind of kicks off to the side and goes an additional 25 yards this way so this would be about 125 yard food plot it was already there it was already there all we did was clean it up a little bit and we're gonna drag it disc it and we're gonna plant it and spray this sucker with antler growth this will be an awesome place for bow hunting because during the rut uh, bucks like to travel up and down uh, fire roads like this looking for does and this will also be a awesome turkey hunting spot. guys now that we kind of roughed this uh, fire road up logging road up a little bit now we're gonna go ahead and go through uh, spread a few hundred pounds of lime and then we'll go back through with the groundhog max just kind of finish things up uh, disc that into the first couple inches of that dirt and then uh, a few weeks we'll come through and 
we'll start getting this ready to uh, plant with some deer egg seed. Uh, we'll probably plant the uh, back 40 from deer egg in here, uh, just because that is a little bit of shade, shade tolerance. Uh, have, have got some clovers in there and things like that. So we're gonna go ahead and get this line spread. We just finished up with the Groundhog Max. As you can see, Chris will show you here in a second. Uh, we had awesome results with it. We're getting ready to take the, uh, the drag here. Uh, we're gonna drag this out and um, just kind of level it off a little bit. Then we'll be done for the day. But again, anytime you guys can find like a logging road, any kind of open field, this is all it takes. We've been out here sweating like crazy for four or five hours now, but we got this done. Eventually this will be a food plot, but for now we're just dragging this across and the turkeys are going to be in here We're getting ready to set up a spy point force 11 D and uh, We'll be good to go. All right guys. We just got done uh, dragging this uh, Fire road here. We got a spy point force 11 D. We're going to set up on this uh, tree here looking down the fire road and I Think almost confident we're going to get some turkeys in here strutting it's fresh dirt in here. They'll be in here scratching, bugging, all the fresh seed heads that we that came to the surface. I think this will be a good area to set this camera up looking down this road. All right, guys, we got the Spy Point Force 11D. We're just going to put this on video for 60 seconds. It's going to count down. We're going to lock this up. We're going to get out of here. 